Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here, and today we're going to be looking at 10 lost and banned kid show episodes. Kid shows are meant to be all nice and happy, but here are some cartoons which have either been banned or lost. These are definitely not good to show to kids, which is why they were only ever aired once, so get ready. But first, be sure to subscribe and why not press the notification bell too. Coming in at number 10 we have Pokemon. Pokemon, the most famous Japanese cartoon ever, is many kids' favourite show. However, one episode left some fans not liking the show at all. In the episode Cyber Soldier Porygon, something's wrong with a Pokeball transmitter at a Poke Center. To fix it, Ash and his friends go into the machine. However, in the machine are lots of lights and electrics. Thanks to this, flashing red and blue lights were shown on screen for a lot of the episode. This caused around 700 children to become dizzy, get headaches, have blurred vision, and in some cases have seizures. Afterwards, people nicknamed the episode Pokemon Shock, as so many kids were messed up by it when it aired on TV. The episode was quickly banned, but that's not all. Pokemon itself as a show was banned for four months after this happened. Of course, the show is back on TV now, but the episode cannot be bought and will never be shown on TV again. Next up is Ed, Ed and Eddie. As kids, I bet we all watched Ed, Ed and Eddie, but did you get to see the lost episode? On the 1st of March 2002, episode 34 was accidentally released one week before it was supposed to be. The head writer was ill, along with some of the production team, so they were going to delay its release by one week. In its place, episode 1 was supposed to just air again, but some people in the office decided to make episode 34 early. When it was released, Cartoon Network got calls of a disturbing new episode. It was bad quality and very depressing, with the characters behaving oddly. There was a dark undertone to the animation animation and a scary vibe to the entire story. Also, the character of Rolf seemed very agitated and hate-filled which creeped out a lot of kids. Only a few kids saw this accidentally released episode and it was never ever shown again. Next up is Dexter's Laboratory. This is a banned episode from the Cartoon Network show Dexter's Laboratory. The episode is called Rude Removal and was only aired one time. The episode shows Dee Dee being rude to Dexter, so Dexter builds a machine to make her polite. However, they get into a big scuffle with each other and both fall into the machine, making them both polite. However, this also makes two evil clones of them and the clones are very rude. They swear a lot and behave in a savage manner, which is not a good example for any kids watching, so the episode was banned. Next up is Spongebob Squarepants. This is probably one of the most famous lost kids cartoon episodes coming from the most famous kids cartoon. Spongebob is usually nice, but one episode viewed by interns at Nick back in the day is very creepy and lost. As a joke, when they screened episodes a few days early to the staff, they would put jokey title cards in. So when the title card Squidward Suicide came up, workers laughed and assumed it was a joke. The episode then showed Squidward at a clarinet concert. He hit a few sour notes and was booed by everyone, including Spongebob. He then goes home and starts crying by his bed. Then real life images of what looked like a dead child are shown. Squidward then continues to cry and blood drips out of his eyes. Squidward is then shown holding a gun and a deep voice says do it and Squidward pulls the trigger. The episode then ended and staff were super freaked out. It turns out it was just a test animation they made and was never intended to be shown on TV. However, no one on the staff ever found out who the child was as they were all too freaked out to ask. Next up, we have The Simpsons. The Simpsons is the longest running animated show of all time, first airing in 1989. Fox has a weird way of counting Simpsons episodes, which means the amount of episodes are always inconsistent. Well, this is the reason behind a lost episode from season one known as Dead Bart, with a production name 7G06. The episode was made during the early days of The Simpsons, but was never aired, and only in 2005 a copy of it was leaked online by a Fox intern. All of the characters seem off, with Homer seeming angrier, Marge seeming depressed, Lisa anxious, and Bart very hateful to his parents. They were going on a trip, but on the plane, Bart broke a window and was sucked out. An image of Bart's mangled body was shown, which made things even creepier. Then the Simpsons family were all shown crying and having their faces seem to flash with color. It then showed a title card saying one year later, and Homer, Marge, and Lisa were all very thin sitting at the table. At the end, they visit Bart's grave, and Bart's body is seen laying next to the grave. The only remaining copy is one somebody saved to a VHS tape, which has been ripped off and posted online. You can kind of make out the storyline, but it's not great quality. Next up is Beavis and Butthead. This MTV cartoon is not one which shies away from being on the rude side. However, one episode caused a public outrage. In the episode, the characters get into trouble, which results in the comedy club being burned down. Well, this actually influenced a kid to do the same thing as he set fire to his trailer park home. This caused his babysitter to pass away. Out of respect for the parents, the episode was pulled and was banned for several years. It has been aired a few times since then after it being banned for around six years. However, in the new versions, all the references to the comedy club burning down have been removed. Moved. 
Next up is Peppa Pig. Seriously, what could this show have done which is so bad you may be asking? While this British cartoon for kids is very safe to watch, one episode caused problems out of Britain. In the episode, Peppa the Pig is scared of spiders and her dad is showing her that she doesn't need to fear spiders as they can't hurt you. This is a good message in most parts of the world, including Britain. However, it is not in Australia, where spiders can not only hurt you, but they can take your life. Australian parents reported the show telling their kids that going near venomous spiders was okay. So for the sake of public safety, the episode was banned. Next up, we have Pokemon. Pokemon again? That's right, this show does not have a clean record. This lost episode is called Beauty and the Beach. The episode's main theme is about the beauty standards women are expected to comply to. All of the girls enter a bikini contest, and even James from Team Rocket wears a fake inflatable woman's chest. He even mocks Misty, saying that maybe one day her chest will look like his. And it even shows some men, including Ash, ogling and going crazy over Misty at the contest. The episode was only aired once, but was banned after hundreds of complaints. Next up is Arthur. I am sure we all loved this show as kids. However, one episode included a rather unfortunate cameo that led to the show never being shown again. Arthur decides to get more people in his town to cycle, so he turns to the Tour de France champion Lance Armstrong. But just a few weeks after the episode was aired, Lance admitted to taking banned substances to win at competition. Lance's awards were all taken back, and so was his cameo in the show. They were going to try and re-edit the episode to make his character sell them. However, he was in it so much it wouldn't work, so the episode was simply never shown again. Next up is The Ren and Stimpy Show. This show wasn't shy of making a few edgy jokes. They liked bathroom humour, bodily fluid jokes, but one episode went too far. It showed Ren badly beating up his owner with a boat oar. His injuries were very dark and graphic, so as a result the episode was banned as it was too much for some adults, let alone kids. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you can vote for your favourite banned kids cartoon. And guys, be sure to check out my second channel, The Crafty. There's amazing life hacks and mind-blowing DIYs on there, so click it and check it out. But as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to watch some videos on screen right now, leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s and press the notification bell too.